Good uh, morning to everyone, a pleasant day to everyone, and uh, let me greet everyone. Today, God is first, and let me appreciate each pastors, our dear pastors, not only here on on the north, but the whole Philippines, to those who are listening uh, abroad, happy pastors appreciation and thank you very much for this another opportunity that we could learn again from the word of god and uh, we're now on mark chapter 12 of our uh, synchronized daily devotion and let me entitle our devotion for this morning the holistic nature of love to love god and love others here on Mark chapter 12, it is a uh, chapter where we could uh, see a, uh, uh, the key teachings and interactions of Jesus in Jerusalem, where it contains a series of parables, challenges, and the profound lessons in life. We could see here in these chapters about uh, the parable of tenants, illustrating God's patience and the rejection of His prophets, and son by Israel leaders we could also see here te- uh, that Jesus teaches the importance of loving God and neighbor as the highest commandments and the chapter concludes Jesus observing a poor widow offering two small coins at the temple highlighting her generosity and faith as she gave all she had and Mark 12 emphasizes themes of authority, love, humility, and true dev- devotion in the kingdom of God. Now for this morning, let me focus only here on verses 28 to 34 of Mark chapter 12. Because of this passage is a very timely for me. Yesterday in my uh, Sunday school class, for the youth one of my students asked a question and uh, uh, nakakatawang isipin dahil uh, time a uh, timely dahil ito ay related sa devotion natin ngayong umaga because she asked this question how can I love myself that was her question paano ko ba mahalin ang aking sarili and thinking that this question is very common to our youth right uh, nowadays. But I responded in the way she should prioritize in life. And I answered to her that to love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor as thyself because this is the greatest commandment of all. It is the holistic nature of love. And yesterday, sa Pastor Sapration, we were asked, uh, aning isang bagay na gusto gusto turu uh, ituro? At yun po ang love. Ang love ng Panginoon Diyos sa atin. This is not only a, uh, the greatest commandment of all. This question or this answer is not, uh, or is not only uh, merely intellectual but it provides an insight how should live a life faithfully before God <clears throat> Jesus responded to uh, to the teachers by quoting Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 to 5 or it is known as the Shema or in Hebrew it means uh, here it is a core Jewish confession of faith that is recited daily. This command reflects complete devotion to God, not just with actions, but as a one who being. Our emotions, our inner self, our intellect and effort. At the same time, Christ uh, partnered this uh, or paired this Shema with Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 saying, love your neighbor as yourself this reveals that love for god cannot be separated from love for others 
True devotion to God expresses itself in selfless love towards others. The scribe responds by acknowledging that love for God and neighbor is more important than sacrifices, showing a deep understanding of God's heart. This passage emphasizes that love both for God and others summarizes the essence of God's uh, commands. It is an invitation to have a holistic love to God in our entire lives. Because love for God is demonstrated through how we treat others, underscoring the relational nature of faith. It also highlights that the core of our faith is love, not just outwardly obeying rules or performing rituals, but wholeheartedly loving God and extending that love to others. This teaching reflects the heart of the gospel that invites the invites us to be focused on sharing it to others. Now the question for this morning is that, is there an area where God is calling you to deepen your love for Him or for someone in your life? Is there someone in our life that we would like to extend the love of God to others? Is there something that is uh, challenging us or is there something that God wants us to do to show His love that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to save us from our sins? It's because of His love, He sent His Son. I hope this morning, as we uh, go with our respective work, our students will be going to school, I hope that in everything that we do, we love Him. At the same time, we would also show His love to others. And at the same time, why we do it, these things is because we love our God. This is a wonderful reminder for us that love covers everything. So therefore, a wonderful challenge for us is to share God wherever we are. Share His love, show His love and be the channel of the love that God had showed us. And I hope that in our lives, let's love the Lord our God wholeheartedly, everything uh, that covers our lives, and at the same time, let us love our neighbors as ourselves. Good morning to everyone, and may the Lord bless you. God loves you and love others, uh, everyone. Love others also. And uh, God bless you and see you again on our next devotion.